guys welcome back to a brand new video on the channel as you can see by the title in today's video we are going to be reviewing this brand new 94 rated team of the season moments card it's none other than the argentine itself mauro accordi ea have released this 94 rated moments accordi on Thursday, I wasn't expecting anything. Yesterday, we got the Van der Beek SBC, and is a really good and cheap, affordable card. And EA have dropped an absolute bomb. They've dropped an absolute bomb. They've released this 94 Accordi for on PlayStation 159,000 coins. On Xbox, 162,000 coins. And on PC, you know that you guys on PC pay an absolute premium, 195,000 coins. But guys, I'm going to tell you, before we get into the review, it's an absolute bargain. You're going to get a 94 rated moment card. But bearing in mind, he doesn't count as a team of the season card. So, you can't put him into SBCs. And another thing, you need to bear in mind guys is we're coming towards the end of the team of the season and we are going to get the best of guaranteed team of the season SBCs coming up so you might want to keep a hold of your coins but as you know before we get into today's video I'm going to ask you really quickly if you're new around here you like daily FIFA content you like play reviews you like absolutely anything to do with FIFA you know what to do hit that subscribe button and come and join the team so without any further ado let's get into today's review looking at his past fifa 19 cards he started off with an 87 rated rare gold card he then got upgraded to a ucl 88 rated card he also got an 88 rated inform and guys before the team of the season his highest rated card was that carnival card that I did already review on the channel and I really enjoyed that card. That's why I completed this SBC today, this 94 rated Accordi, and I had to bring you a review. So getting into the stats, 84 acceleration and 86 sprint speed. Guys, he's not lightning fast, but he's quick enough. And you're going to see from the gameplay, he does actually get caught up quite a lot. And that was sort of disappointing with the card. But don't worry. Don't worry. There's a lot of positives. We will start with the negatives, though. He does get caught up quite a lot. I was playing through balls with that team of the season, Suso, and uh, any other player. For example, I partnered a card up with Icon Crespo. If Crespo was running through on goal, the, the players wouldn't catch him up. The opposition would not catch him up. But because it was a Cardi, he was getting caught up. But to balance that, guys, into the physicality, 99 jumping, 99 heading accuracy is fantastic in the air. But we'll get back to that. What I wanted to talk about was the 88 strength and the 65 aggression. Although he does get caught up quite a lot, he's now got some amazing strength stats. And you're going to see from the gameplay he's able to hold off the opposition and when he's running through on goal and I was doing it numerous times and guys that's what I'm going to say to you a big tip if you've got this Mario Accordi use the shielding button I think on PlayStation what I use is R2 I think it's R2 or R1 or it might even be L2 with the sprint button and he sprints and shields the ball at the same time Accordi is really good at that getting into the main stats for a striker it's the shooting and Mario Accordi is one of the best finishes in the game honestly he's so clinical and you'll see from the gameplay today goals 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 and that's what Mario Accordi brings you 99 positioning attack positioning fantastic you can't boost it finishing 99 it can't be boosted 92 shot power and guys the shot power on this card is absolutely unbelievable you're gonna see a goal if you've not already seen it already Mario Accordi absolutely fires 
a shot at goal. And uh, he comes off a defender and goes in. It's got that much shot power on the shot. It just bounces straight off the defender. The defender can't control the ball. And it goes into the back of the net. One of the funniest goals I've scored throughout FIFA 19. But 77 long shots. Now this was a problem. You'll see this from the gameplay guys. I do shoot from distance with Mario Accardi. But for whatever reason, the goalkeeper saves it 9 times out of 10. They just don't hit the back of the net net but they're always on target now guys we're getting into the meta 94 volleys as we know if you played fifa 19 all year long you'll know that headers and volleys are very overpowered in fifa 19 and mario accordi's volleys are top tier but you're going to have a few problems. Free start, skill moves. Um, yeah, so it's very hard to actually flick it up to yourself because he doesn't have the skill moves. But there's ways around that, guys. There is ways around that. Getting into the dribbling stats. It's got some very amazing dribbling stats for a big man in this game because he's a real big man. I think he's like six foot one plus. 83 agility, 83 balance, 96 for reactions, and we'll get back to that as well. 89 ball control, 84 dribbling, and 93 composure. He's very composed one-on-one, -on -one, and that's something I really enjoyed about this card. But the 96 reaction, guys, you would have seen a goal already that Mario Accardi scores. I think it comes off the post, and Mario Accardi reacts before the opposition's defence, and he reacts before the opposition's goalkeeper. He's very good at reacting and guys I've spoken about all of the main stats on the card So what we do now is I give you my overall thoughts on the card Honestly when I saw this SBC I was expecting I'm not even joking 700,000 plus for a card like this because I'm going to be honest. I don't know a Mario Accardi FIFA 19, FIFA 18, FIFA 17 card that's ever been as good as this card. It's so good. It's probably Mario Accardi's best ever FIFA card. And I know it's a bold statement, guys, but I really enjoyed this card. He brings me back to a classic number nine, like a classic striker um, throughout football. So taking you back to Alan Shearer, um, these sorts of players, Alan Shearer, Fernando Torres, Didier Drogba, like a striker that's got a lot of pace. He's very good at dribbling, fantastically physical, and uh, yeah, just shooting out of this world. And it's none other than this Mario Accardi. Honestly, guys, I really, really, really enjoyed this card. Four-star weak foot as well. What more could you want? Well, I'll tell you what more you could want. is four-star or five-star skill moves because that was also a bit of a letdown on the card. If we're talking about negatives, it's definitely the pace because he does get caught up, but there's a chem style for that. But it's the skill moves, guys. The skill moves, the skill moves, the skill moves. The amount of times I could only do a ball roll. <laughs> you would have seen from the gameplay. I could only do a ball roll because he's got three star skill moves. Or he can also do the heel to heel, which he was very fast in the heel to heel. But imagine this Accordi card with like five star skills or four star skills. It would literally be a reincarnated Ibrahimovic. So, guys, I've given you my overall thoughts. We've spoken about the stats. You know the drill by now. We go to an overall rating. So, the overall rating I'm going to give this Mario Accordi card is. A 9.5 out of 10. Honestly, one of the most enjoyable cards I've used throughout FIFA 19. And it's very surprising because looking at the stats on the front of the card, I wouldn't have said that because his passing isn't amazing. His pace isn't amazing for a team of the season. And his physicality on the front of the card could easily be boosted. But guys, for the price that you're going to pay, like I say, PlayStation 159,000, Xbox 16, two and pc195 and bearing in mind guys that's eventually going to come down 
and be even cheaper, I think you should actually go out and complete this Mario Accordi card. I really enjoyed him. So guys, that's going to be it for today's video, but quickly, before you go, I just want to say, um, there's going to be a brand new team of the season tomorrow, and it's got to be the French League. I think it's the only major league we haven't had so far. So if you made it this far in the video, what I want you to do is go in the comment section down below and tell me which French League player are you looking forward most to getting a team of the season card. I myself, it's that right midfielder and um, I really can't think of his name right now. It's not Mbappe, It's uh, he plays on the right mid. Maybe you can let me, let me know who that is as well because right now I've lost my train of thought and I can't think who it is. So guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like and I'll see you next time.